A couple of cool new Ubiquiti products have just dropped. The Unify Express 7, the Unify Dream Router 7, and the Unify Cloud Gateway Fiber. If you're wondering why the 7 is there, well, that's for Wi-Fi 7, you're welcome. Jokes aside, these are some interesting devices that I think will be extremely popular for different reasons. Let's start by taking a look at the Express 7. The Express 7 is basically the evolved form of the original Express. You get a similar form factor as the original, but with a few key updates. Wi-Fi 7 and much faster wired speeds. Wi-Fi 7 kind of speaks for itself, right? While the previous version is rocking Wi-Fi 6, we get the newer, cooler 2x2 Wi-Fi 7 access point here, so take that for what it's worth. A lot of client devices are now coming standard with Wi-Fi 7, so that may be something you were looking for. If not, you'll still be pleased with the upgrade from 1 gig WAN to 10 gig WAN. Yeah, you get a 10 gig RJ45 WAN port on here. That's a big jump, and I'm pleasantly surprised to see that. You're probably thinking, oh, what do I need 10 gig WAN for? Well, it's not really about needing the full 10 gig. It's about a lot of ISPs now offering speeds at different tiers over 1 gig, so having that 10 gig port ensures you won't need to upgrade your gateway when you get that spicy new internet speed. As for the LAN port, we still have a single one, but again, we've upgraded from 1 gig, this time to 2.5 gig. So faster speeds all around, but the updates don't stop there. A feature that is missing from the original Express that we now get on the Express 7 is IDS IPS with a throughput of 2.3 gigabit per second. I don't really know anyone who isn't using the intrusion protection system in Unified Network, so it's nice that the new Express model includes that. Obviously, that's due to the upgraded specs, which should help you get an increased bandwidth throughput too. Outside of those upgrades, it mimics the original Express in that it's designed to be a standalone unified network device for small setups with the ability to add on down the line. I'd say if you already have an Express with sub 1 gig internet speeds and you don't have any need for Wi-Fi 7, then stick with that. But I can imagine a lot of you out there are already thinking about upgrading. However, this isn't even the device I'm most excited about. That belongs to the Unify Dream Router 7. This dude is the new king in terms of the best all around Unify device. Here's the highlights. 10 gig WAN, load balancing, four port 2.5 gig switch, PoE plus port, Wi-Fi 7, SD card storage, and it can run the full Unify application suite. Oh, and personally, I think it looks pretty badass. Yeah, a lot to unpack here, so let's take it one step at a time. Ports. The big boy here is the 10 gig SFP plus port, a switch up from the RJ45 on the Express. Some ISP modems utilize fiber, so I see why they went with the SFP plus route, but if you're still an RJ45 fan, there's always an adapter for that. Then we have four 2.5 gig RJ45 ports, with one of those designated as another WAN port and one being a PoE plus port. I know that PoE port was a feature a lot of people have been asking for in these compact cloud gateway devices, so that's huge. This allows you to easily add another access point or camera without having to get a dedicated PoE switch. And since we have multiple WAN ports, we have load balancing for multiple WAN setups, and this is a great feature and something I personally use in my setup. In terms of Wi-Fi, we get Wi-Fi 7 with a 4x4 MIMO configuration, so a little bit more robust here. And of course, we also get IDS IPS with the same 2.3 gigabit from the Express. A big upgrade from the UX7 though is the UDR7's ability to run the entire suite of Unify applications. So on top of the network, we have Protect, Access, Talk, all of them. There's even a built-in SD card slot for storage and it comes with 64 gigabytes, but you can upgrade that if necessary. I mean, yeah, this thing is stacked. Oh, and before I get into the last item, both the UX7 and the UDR7 will both have MLO support on release. Say it with me, fellas, hell yeah. And last but not least, we have the Cloud Gateway Fiber. It's a real flat boy, and in terms of features, it's really designed to be a beefy wired device, since there's no Wi-Fi. We get four 2.5 gig ports with one of them being PoE Plus, as well as a 10 gig RJ45 WAN port, and to round it all off two 10 gig SFP Plus ports. We also get an NVMe slot for recording as the UCG Fiber supports all the Unify applications. So in terms of raw connectivity, the UCG Fiber is the real big daddy here. You even get double the IDS IPS performance at five gigabit per second. And if that fits your macros, then this is a solid device. I often hear people complain like, oh, I wish this had Wi-Fi built in, or this doesn't need Wi-Fi, give me more ports. 
Well, hot damn, boys, you have your options cut out for you now. And for the most important part, pricing. The UX7, UDR7, and UCG Fiber come in at a price of $199, $279, and $279, respectively. Real talk, those are extremely competitive prices on these units, so you may want to snag one pretty quickly. Link down in the description, by the way. So overall, I think each of these devices has their place in the Ubiquiti product stack. They're compact cloud gateways designed for small setups, where the Express 7 is designed to simply run unified network in a small space with some room for expansion. The Dream Router 7 is meant to be an upgrade to that if you're looking to run more applications and utilize another access point out of the box. And the Cloud Gateway Fiber is if you already have a Wi-Fi solution but want some more 10 gig connectivity and better performance. Again, all of these are designed for smaller setups, so if you're coming in here comparing it to your 42U Unify setup, stop. But that's the new lineup of devices, and I think they're all good at different levels, which is honestly what you want out of a new product launch. Let me know if any of these sound like something you're looking for down in the comments below. If you liked the video, then drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my 10 gig cloud gateway that can run all the Unify applications. Absolute bros. And if you're still watching, you're SFP. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.